Hello everyone. Welcome to the Life More channel. Today, we delve into the primary reasons that can lead to glaucoma. Glaucoma, known as the silent thief of sight, is a progressive eye condition that can lead to permanent vision loss if not treated properly. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't waste time. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive our health and wellness tips. Glaucoma is a progressive eye condition that affects the optic nerve and can lead to permanent vision loss if not treated properly. This disease is often referred to as the silent thief of sight due to its asymptomatic nature in early stages. Glaucoma usually develops when intraocular pressure gradually increases, damaging the optic nerve over time. Initially, increased intraocular pressure gradually damages the optic nerve without causing noticeable pain or discomfort to the patient. Over time, accumulated damage results in progressive loss of the visual field, without the patient noticing the signs until glaucoma has advanced to more severe stages. Therefore, it is crucial to undergo regular eye examinations, especially for individuals with risk factors, to detect glaucoma early and initiate treatment before irreversible vision damage occurs. Risk Factors for Glaucoma 1. Advanced Age as we age, our risk of developing glaucoma significantly increases. Advanced age is a crucial risk factor for this eye condition. People over 60 years old are more likely to develop glaucoma compared to younger individuals. This is due to natural changes in the body and the ocular system over time. With aging, there is a tendency for intraocular pressure to increase, predisposing the individual to glaucoma development. Additionally, other factors such as decreased drainage capacity of the aqueous humor may contribute to increased ocular pressure. Therefore, it is crucial for older individuals to be aware of this risk and undergo regular eye examinations to detect any signs of glaucoma early. 2. Family History Having a family history of glaucoma is a significant risk factor for developing the condition. If a family member, such as parents or siblings, has glaucoma, the likelihood of other family members developing the disease significantly increases. This suggests a genetic predisposition to glaucoma. Studies have shown that the risk of developing glaucoma is up to 10 times higher in people with first-degree relatives affected by the condition. Therefore, it is crucial for individuals with a family history of glaucoma to be especially vigilant regarding symptoms and undergo regular eye examinations to monitor their ocular health. Recognizing this risk factor can help in early detection and effective treatment of glaucoma, minimizing the risk of long-term complications. If you've watched this far, it means you liked the video, so subscribe and let's move on to point 3. 3. Elevated intraocular pressure. Elevated intraocular pressure is a significant risk factor for glaucoma development. The human eye is filled with a clear fluid called aqueous humor, whose pressure is controlled by the balance between its production and drainage. When this balance is disturbed and intraocular pressure increases, it can damage the optic nerve, leading to glaucoma. Several factors may contribute to increased intraocular pressure, including advanced age, family history of the disease, certain medical conditions such as diabetes and hypertension, as well as prolonged use of steroids. Maintaining regular monitoring of intraocular pressure, especially for individuals with risk factors, is crucial for early diagnosis and effective treatment of glaucoma thus reducing the risk of permanent vision loss. 4. Race Studies suggest that race also plays a significant role in glaucoma development. People of African or Afro-descendant descent have a significantly higher risk of developing glaucoma compared to other races. The most common type of glaucoma among people of African descent is open-angle glaucoma, which usually presents a faster progression and is more difficult to treat. While the exact reason for this racial disparity is not yet fully understood, awareness of the increased risk in certain groups is crucial. Affected communities should be especially vigilant in undergoing regular eye examinations and seeking early treatment if necessary to preserve ocular health. 5. Myopia or Hyperopia Myopia and hyperopia, common refractive conditions, are also associated with glaucoma development. People with myopia have an elongated eye shape, which can increase pressure on the optic nerve, increasing the risk of glaucoma. On the other hand, people with hyperopia, who have a shorter eyeball, may have a narrower drainage angle, hindering fluid flow and increasing intraocular pressure. While optical correction of these vision problems can help improve vision quality, 
it is essential to regularly monitor intraocular pressure and undergo comprehensive eye examinations to detect any early signs of glaucoma. People with myopia or hyperopia should be aware of this additional risk and follow the ophthalmologist's recommendations to preserve ocular health and prevent complications associated with glaucoma. 6. Previous Eye Injuries Previous eye injuries can increase the risk of developing glaucoma. Eye traumas, even seemingly minor ones, can cause damage to the optic nerve or interfere with the drainage system of intraocular fluid, increasing pressure inside the eye. Injuries such as bruises, cuts, or perforations can damage essential eye structures for normal fluid flow, leading to increased intraocular pressure and progression of glaucoma. Additionally, previous surgical interventions in the eyes, such as cataract or glaucoma surgery, may increase the risk of glaucoma-related complications in the future. It is crucial for individuals with a history of eye injuries to receive regular ophthalmic care and communicate any unusual symptoms, such as blurred vision, pain, or changes in vision, to the ophthalmologist. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment can help prevent serious complications related to glaucoma. 7. Systemic Diseases Systemic diseases, such as diabetes and hypertension, are associated with a higher risk of developing glaucoma. These conditions affect vascular health and may impair blood flow to the eyes, increasing intraocular pressure and causing damage to the optic nerve. People with diabetes are more likely to develop open-angle glaucoma, while hypertension may contribute to normal pressure glaucoma. Additionally, conditions such as arteriosclerosis and autoimmune disorders can also influence glaucoma development. It is essential for patients with systemic diseases to regularly monitor their ocular health and undergo periodic eye examinations. Adequate control of the underlying condition, along with ophthalmic follow-up, can help reduce the risk of glaucoma-related complications and preserve visual health in the long term. 8. Prolonged use of corticosteroids. These medications, commonly prescribed to treat inflammatory and autoimmune conditions, can increase intraocular pressure by increasing fluid production within the eye or reducing fluid drainage capacity. Corticosteroids can be administered in various forms, including tablets, injections, topical creams, and eye drops. The risk of glaucoma increases with the dose and duration of corticosteroid treatment. It is important for patients using these medications for an extended period to be regularly monitored by an ophthalmologist to assess ocular health and detect any early signs of increased intraocular pressure or optic nerve damage. In some cases, medication adjustment or consideration of alternatives may be necessary to reduce the risk of ocular complications. 9. Ocular Anatomy Ocular anatomy can also influence the risk of developing glaucoma. Some eye structural characteristics may increase susceptibility to this condition. For example, a narrow angle between the cornea and the iris can hinder normal aqueous humor flow within the eye, leading to increased intraocular pressure. Additionally, certain variations in optic nerve anatomy, such as the presence of an abnormally shaped optic disc, may increase. Although these anatomical factors cannot be modified, they underscore the importance of regular evaluation of ocular health, especially for individuals with anatomical characteristics that may increase the risk of glaucoma. Adequate ophthalmic follow-up can help in early detection of the condition and implementation of preventive measures to preserve vision. 10. Presence of Cardiovascular Diseases The presence of cardiovascular diseases is also associated with an increased risk of developing glaucoma. Conditions such as hypertension, coronary artery disease, and stroke can influence ocular health in various ways. Hypertension, for example, can directly affect intraocular pressure, contributing to the development of glaucoma. Additionally, cardiovascular diseases may compromise blood circulation to ocular tissues, including the optic nerve, thereby increasing vulnerability to damage caused by elevated intraocular pressure. It is important for patients with cardiovascular diseases to be aware of this increased risk and undergo regular eye examinations to monitor ocular health. An integrated approach, including proper control of cardiovascular diseases and attention to ocular health, can help reduce the risk of complications associated with glaucoma and preserve vision in the long term. Possible Treatments for Glaucoma The treatment of glaucoma encompasses a variety of options tailored to the stage of the disease and the severity of symptoms. 1. Medications Eye drops and oral medications are prescribed to reduce intraocular pressure by decreasing fluid production or facilitating its drainage. 2. Laser surgery, 
Procedures such as trabeculoplasty and laser iridotomy improve fluid flow within the eye, reducing intraocular pressure. 3. Traditional surgical procedures, in advanced stages, trabeculectomy or drainage implantation create new drainage pathways to relieve pressure. Treatment is personalized based on the progression of the disease, response to treatment, and overall health conditions. A glaucoma specialist determines the best course of action for each patient. In summary, glaucoma is a serious eye condition that requires attention. By subscribing and sharing this video, you help raise awareness about glaucoma and its prevention. Together, we can protect our vision and promote ocular health. Thank you for joining us on this important mission. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video.